Hey y'all, it's Jolene here from Homestitchery Decor. Welcome back to the Homestitchery Decor YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to break down some key notes that I took from watching um, an Etsy uh, Q1, um, basically a webinar um, on their, uh, you know, everything that they're doing at Etsy is essentially it. Uh, so it was quite a long presentation. And I had been seeing some stuff, um, you know, recently in other people's, uh, you know, uh, just grumblings about Etsy and what they're doing. And then, of course, uh, we all saw the Super Bowl ad um, where it looked to me like they were trying to, like, refocus uh, their energy at Etsy. So I thought I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive into this and figure out um, and then kind of just spew it back to you guys on YouTube. So. Uh, disclaimer, I am not an Etsy expert. This is just my personal opinion and uh, some key notes that I took. So uh, another disclaimer is I like Shopify. <laughs> so initially I put my listings up on my Shopify store and then if I feel like it, I integrate them over to Etsy with the shuttle app. And then if I get a sale from Etsy, um, I remarket my customers to my Shopify store because ultimately I would like to own all of my own customers and be able to email market to them. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, the first thing I would do if I was going to be a new seller selling anywhere is set up my own Shopify store, uh, figure out how to use that. And then, like I said, use an app called uh, Shuttle um, or any in integration app um, that will work with Etsy to bring your listings over to Etsy, make some few uh, tweaks to them. And like I say, if you do get a sale uh, and it's like for some of my items, they're shipped direct from my house. So I always include a thank you card in uh, the Etsy sale and I redirect them to my website in hopes that they will just uh, purchase from my website after the fact and then I will get more sales from that. So that is uh, how I run my business. But um, when you're working on multiple platforms and ideally I just want to be working on Shopify long term, but right now I'm still using Etsy to get their traffic because they have some free traffic for the things that I sell. Um, so I want to learn as much as possible about the different platforms and how they work. And therefore, I invest some of my time into education. And uh, I wanted to talk to you specifically about Etsy. So like I said, the, you did see the ad um, for Etsy. So my take on this is that, at, and they just flat out said it here today. In fact, I think this webinar came out on Wednesday. It's now Friday. And, you know, whatever. I'm behind the eight ball. So. Uh, what they want on Etsy, I made a whole bunch of post-it notes here, so I'm going to refer to them. They're down here on my computer. Is they want original items that are handmade or designed with a production partner. So I think what's been happening at Etsy is they are just getting inundated with sellers. Uh, so their um, the amount of sellers that they have on the platform has just exploded. And what's happening with that is a lot of people are not using the correct policies um, for either being handmade or handmade designed with a production partner, which is some of my products as well. Um, and they are just, you know, they're grabbing clip art uh, from wherever they can grab it from, not making any alterations to it, uh, putting it on a product through print on demand, and then just plastering the platform. So the platform is just looking like bunk, basically. It looks like junk. Um, if you go and look for an item, you're just getting, you know, hundreds of pages for it's like, okay, mom, dog, t-shirt. There's hundreds and hundreds of pages of that. Lots of those designs are not original. They're not handmade. Um, they have no, um, the, the sellers have taken absolutely no time um, to work on their own designs or to be creative. And they're just, I think they're just like throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping that something sticks to that. And I believe it's bringing the sales down and the credibility of Etsy down to the point that sellers, um, you know, there, there was an easy entry level. So why would they not be doing that? But on the other hand, buyers are getting disappointed with the products. Um, the products that are coming are not exactly as described. Um, the buyers are making more returns. And then that, of course, affects everything, right? It affects how much customer service has to, Etsy has to do. Um, it affects how much uh, they have to filter through the sellers on the platform. And so they've just come right out and said, listen, you guys, uh, we're going to start cracking down on these sellers that have um, products that are being sold um, as obviously uh, like drop shift items or items that can be easily purchased on other platforms. So in this webinar thing today, they specifically brought up, um, what did they bring up? Was it Teemu? Um, anyway, one of those sites, right? So what's happening is... Um, 
They've got new AI technology that they're developing all the time to get these stores shut down. So the robot is going to go through the listings and it's going to say, okay, can this product be found on any of these other seller platforms? And if so, we're just going to shut it down. That's going to be our new rule. You can appeal it if your store gets shut down and you feel like you've been making your own product and uh, you, you know, didn't do anything wrong. You can go ahead and appeal that decision. Uh, but the new rule is going to be that automatically that store is going to get shut down. And then another uh, thing that they did to try to improve the platform uh, was in February, they installed um, or started or whatever, a $15 new buyer sign up. So a lot of people that were signing up to sell on Etsy, of course, they think it's, you know, it's um, an easy entry platform to sell on and they can just, you know, spam the site, right? So they said, okay, well, why don't we make it so you actually have to put some money in the game in order to even be able to sell on here. And that is now deterring some of these spam sellers, right? Um, so I think that's actually a great idea. So um, yeah, they're just, they're trying to get rid of all the fake stuff. They want a better buying experience for the customers. That's ultimately what they want. They want to be known. They want to be, uh, they want to be known as a gift store. They want to stand out from the competition. They don't want to be Amazon. They don't want to be Walmart. They don't want to be um, you know, a third party selling site like eBay, they want to be known as a gift store. So if you haven't started designing your own products or hand making your own products, I am the channel for you. So I teach both how to do uh, some designs for POD, um, basically the tips and tools that you need and the regulations that you'll need to follow if you're going to do some front on demand stuff. But I am also mainly, you can see behind me, I am a handmade seller, which means that I bring in, um, I work with quilt cotton, quilt cotton and uh, paper. So that's what I work with. I sew my own items and then I have my own line of Cricut design files that I make into finished products. And then I have a secondary store where I sell the uh, designs that you can actually make the products and um, you can sell the finished products from those. So those are the two stores that I have. So you can go and look at both those stores if you want to fill your boots. I don't think anybody's going to copy me because honestly, I mean, why would you? It's a boatload of work and you're going to put your own spin on whatever you're doing. And to be frank, I'm 50 years old and I do this. Um, mostly I teach on YouTube. Now. <laughs> That's what I do. And I sell in boutique stores and all that kind of stuff. So the first store is Home Stitchery Decor and the second store is the Mandela SVG Shop. Okay, so they're looking for quality. That's what Etsy's looking for. And here's another post-it note I have here. So um, when they're looking for quality, they're, they're looking for quality items with quality listings, with quality photos, where you have every section of your store filled out properly. You have correct tags and titles. Um, you're not just using mock-ups that do not represent your product. They're very specific on what you can use for mock-ups. Um, I've done a video on the mock-up situation before, which I will uh, tag here and you can go watch my opinions on the mock-ups that they put out before. It was very clear what they said to do for that. Um, but they're also not only just looking at the products themselves, but they're looking at the buying experience. So they want to know if you're shipping late. Uh, they want to know if you've got too many returns. They're looking to see if you have uh, five-star reviews. And they're, they're making sure that you're following up with your customers. So what's going to happen is the quality sellers that have quality handmade items or quality items that are designed and printed with a print provider that have accurate mock-ups that represent the product fairly so that the customer gets it in the time that you say you're going to give it to them and then you don't get a return on it. Those sellers that need all of those qualifications are going to get bumped up in the listings, they're going to get bumped up. So, uh, what they're, what he said specifically, um, I think his name's Josh Silverman. What he said specifically is they're looking for people that have the skill and the will. So this is no longer going to be the place that you can just slap happy a listing up and expect to get sales on. So you're going to need to do the work. And to be honest with you, I think it's like the people that are going to put the work in are going to succeed. So you just, you need to put the work in. Nobody wants this, you know, um, like I just said, slap happy stuff, right? Low effort um, is not going to get you anything. So the um, AI tool that they uh, implemented is going to help them 
determine which listings are the best and get those bumped up. And then they were also going to have a set of rules for that computer to be like, hey, you guys out the door if you're doing crap stuff. And I know people are going to comment in here. And I mean, fill the comments if you want to, because that's going to boost my channel. Go you. Um, but if you are using AI for good things in the terms that Etsy says you can use it for, you are going to succeed. If you are using AI and doing nefarious things with the AI technology, you are not going to succeed on Etsy. So um, Etsy has also, um, they've got it in beta right now, but they've got a loyalty program coming out. So they want users to come back to the platform. And I have another training video on this. This is no different from my small business than it is for Etsy. They will make more money on repeat buyers that bring their friends. It's as simple as that. I'm sure I have another video on it. If I have, um, I can link it right here. I'm sure it's like the three P's that I said. Uh, product, um, person, position, or something like that. Um, anyway, I'll find the video and I'll link it here. But they want to have a loyalty program so that customers come back. And they're also finding that people that use the app for Etsy are more likely to purchase and are more likely to come back. So when you are making your listings, you want to make them as app friendly as possible. And I think that's it. They're focusing on app downloads. These are all my notes that I took. Um, my videos don't have to be super long to get to the point. Um, so if you want to sign up for Shopify, I've had the QR code here quite a bit. So like I said, make your listing first in Shopify and then use another platform to bring it over. And then I've actually uh, just found out about another new product that I'm going to do a video on today uh, where you can upload um, your print-on-demand products to multiple platforms at the same time. And so I'll do a video specifically on that, but that's it for today's video on the Etsy. Um, and I'm, I'm happy for them. So if you like this stuff, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.